Okay, simula natin ito. So, we have limit of a function. Para lang to review sa ano, sa nakaraang taon. Define muna tayo ng limit of a function. Ano ba ang limit? Pag sinabi limit ng function, ano na iisip ninyo? Ha? Ano ba tagalog ng limit? Sino sa sagot? Hanggang. Ha? Ang limit ay hangganan, ano? So, yun ang hangganan ng function, di ba? Kapag ka ang value ng x ay a. Halimbawa, ang x y 1. So, ano yung kanyang hangganan, di ba? Actually, parang ito, sinosolve niya yung value ng y. Parang ganun to eh. Kasi y is function of x. So, we're going to find the limit of f of x, di ba? When x equals a. So, parang kinukaw yung value ng y. Parang ganun siya, ano? So, let's say we have a function y equals f of x with its given graph below. Halimbawa, ito yung ating y equals f of x. So, yun ang graph niya. Sabi dito, as we can see, the graph has values of x with corresponding y values. Diba? Halimbawa ito, ito yung x sub 1. Meron siya katumbas na y sub 1. Then if we have x sub 2 here, meron din niya corresponding na y sub 2. Then halimbawa, ito yung a. So meron niya kapartner na L. Then if we have x sub 3, meron niyang partner na y sub 3. Same with x sub 4, meron niyang partner na y sub 4. Okay. So the graph shows that we have values of x. Diba? Our reference is letter A. So meron value ang x mo sa left ng A, x sub 1, x sub 2. Sa right niya, x sub 3, x sub 4. And each value is a corresponding y value. Gagaya nga nito, x sub 1, meron siya katambal na y sub 1. X sub 2 is Y sub 2 ang kapartner nun. Sa right naman ng A, X sub 3, we have Y sub 3. And X sub 4, we have Y sub 4. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? So, if we're going to analyze the given graph, so we can see that as X approaches the value A, iba from the left or from the right, so the Y approaches value L. Tama naman, ano? So, habang lumalapit yung x natin sa a, lumalapit naman yung y sa value na l. Galing yan ng kaliwa, galing pa yan ng kanan. So yun, ano? So galing ng kaliwa, papalapit sa l yung value ng y. Kahit galing yan ng kanan, papunta tayo ng a, papalapit din sa l yung value ng y. Okay. Okay. So, bali... Based sa ating analysis, sabi-sabihin nun, as x approaches a, oh, diba, as x approaches the value a, either from the left or from the right, so our function is becoming nearer and nearer to L. Tama naman, ano, kagaya kanina. Papalapit ka ng a, galing sa kaliwa, ito naman, papunta ng L. Galing ka ng kanan, papunta ng a, ito papunta ng L din. Sabi-sabihin, the value L is defined as the limit of the function y equals f of x. As x approaches the value a. So, ibig sabihin, yung L, yan yung value ng function natin kapag ka ang x ay equal sa A. So, yun yung kanyang limit. Yun ang hangganan ng value ano, kapag ka ang x ay A. Hanggang doon lang siya, ibig sabihin. So, yung symbol, we have limit of f of x as x approaches A equals L. So, ito yung the limit of f of x as x approaches A is equal to L. So, ayan, ano, review lang tayo ng ano, concept ng limit. Okay. So, we have different theorems on limits. First, we have limit of a constant. Ito yung pinakamahirap, di ba? Para sa derivative. Ang limit ng constant ay constant. Wala nang tanong dyan. So, limit of constant as x approaches a in symbol is equal to c. So, sample tayo na isa lang. Kahit dalawa, ang limit ng negative 100 as x approaches 10 is negative 100 pa din. Ano yung value ng constant? Ang limit ng pi pi, x approaches negative 8 is equal to pi pi. Kasi ang limit ng constant ay constant mismo. May tanong kayo sa number 1. Ha? Constant. Wala po, sir. Wala, ano? Sige. Tuloy natin. Limit of a function f of x. Meron tayong value na ano? x na sa polynomial. Ano gagawin dito? 
So we're going to find the limit of f of x by diba, replacing the value of x diba, with the given value. Ano, kung ano ina-approach ng value na x, papalito mo yung function. Uh, so we're going to substitute the value that x approaches to the given function. So replace lang natin yung x on yung value na binibigay ng function. So yung limit ng f of x as x approaches is equal to f of a. Alala nyo ba ito? Ano? Parang natin ano, ang computation ng function. Ano? So to find the limit of f of x as x approaches a, we're going to replace x by a. That's why we have f of a. So ganun lang siya. Illustration tayo, isa. So we have limit of x squared as x approaches negative 3. So we're going to replace x by negative 3. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng negative 3 quantity squared. Then we have positive 9. So, sa ganun lang siya, ano? Kaya tuloy natin. Third, we have limit of a sum or difference. Uh, by definition, the limit of a sum or difference of two or more functions is equal to the sum or difference of their limits. So, we're going to apply theorems 1 and 2. Ito, ano? Paghihiwalay na natin ito, eh. In symbol, we have limit of f of x plus or minus g of x x approaches a. O, paghiwalay na natin. Limit lang tayo ng f of x. x approaches a plus or minus limit of g of x. x approaches a. So, apply mo dyan yung theorem 1 and theorem number 2. Kung constant yan, apply mo yung constant. Kung yan ay function of x, palatan mo yung x ng value ng x na na-approach niya. Okay. Sample 1 tayo. So, we have limit of the quantity x squared plus 2x minus 3 as x approaches negative 3. So ito, pag in-apply yung property na yan, applying this theorem, sa isa lang muna. So limit tayo ng x squared, x approaches negative 3. Limit of 2x, x approaches negative 3. Minus limit of 3, x approaches negative 3. Yung siya, no? x squared plus, di ba? 2x minus 3. Then, yung tayo sa theorem 2, ito ay theorem 2, ito ay theorem number 1. Okay, meron tayong negative 3 squared 2 times negative 3. Limit ng constant ay constant. Ayun, 3 pa din. Okay, simplifying, we have negative 3 squared is 9. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus 3. Or we have 9, di ba? Minus 9, ito ay 0. So, yun yung kanyang limit. Number 2, we have limit of 2x squared minus 3x plus 9 x approaches 2. So, dito, pag ganito yung given, kahit alam na ito, ano yung part na ito, pwede na kayo mag-isa-isa. Diretso na kagad ng palit. So, pwede na yung maging 2 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 9. So, equal yan sa 2 squared is 4 times 2 we have 8. 3 times 2 is 6, kaya minus 6 yan, plus 9. And simplify natin yan, we have 11. Diba? 8 plus 9 is 17, minus 6 we have 11. Okay, question. Wala pa. Wala po. Sige, kaya kaya pa yan, ano? Kung tayo siguro mag ano sa quotient. Okay. Fourth. We have limit of a product. Ito, same to sa, ano, sa amin difference. Ang limit ng product ng two functions ay equal sa product ng kanilang limits. O, yun na. Kagaya kanina, ano, sinasabi doon, sum ng mga limits. Kung kunin mo limit ng bawat term, i-add mo lang. Yun yung, yun yung limit ng sum and difference. Ito naman, kung kunin mo yung limit ng isang function, yung limit ng pangalawa, multiply mo. Yun ang limit ng product. Okay. So, in symbol, we have limit of f of x times g of x, x approaches a is equal to limit of f of x as x approaches a times the limit of g of x as x approaches a. So, paghihiwalayin mo lang, ano, yung unang-unang natin function, tapos yung pangalawa, and then multiply mo yung limits sila. Okay, sa tayong sample. So, we have limit of 4x squared minus 2 times 2x plus 3 as x approaches negative 1 half. So, ganyan tayo sa favorite nyo, na fraction. Applying this theorem, so we will have limit of 4x squared minus 3, x approaches negative 1 half, 
times the limit of 2x plus 3 as x approaches negative 1 half. So, muna tayo sa una. So, magiging 4 times negative 1 half squared minus 3 times 2 times negative 1 half plus 3. So, dito tayo. Di ba negative, nirace mo sa even power, magiging positive. So, 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. Meron tayo dyan 1 fourth. Kaya meron kang 4 times 1 fourth minus 3. Ito naman, 2 over negative 2 is negative 1. Kaya meron tayo negative 1 plus 3. Ito, 4 over 4 is 1. Kaya na 1 minus 3 times negative 1 plus 3. So, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. Meron ka negative 2 times 2. So, we have negative 4. Ngayon, itong product, kayo bahala. Pwede nyo apply yung theorem na to, or pwede kayo mag-simplify muna ng function. Pwede mo nyo i-multiply muna. 4x squared times 2x is 8x cubed. And we have here 4x squared times 3, 12x squared. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. So, yun yung product, ano, ng function. Mag-multiply muna tayo ng function bago magpalit ng value ng x. Then, we're going to replace x by negative 1 half. Kaya meron tayong 8 times negative 1 half cube plus 12 times negative 1 half squared minus 6 times negative 1 half minus 9. O kapag ka ang negative number nakaray sa add na power, ang sagot ay negative. So, ang 1 cube ay 1. Diba? Ang 2 cube ay 2 times 2 times 2. We have 8. Ayan ay negative 1 8. So, meron kang 8 times negative 1 8. Again, negative number, raise mo sa even power, positive. So, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. Ayan, meron kang 12 times 1 fourth. Minus 6 times negative 1 half, minus 9. And again, 8 over negative 8 is negative 1. So, meron tayo negative 1 dyan. 12 over 4 is 3. Ito, negative and negative. So, we have positive doon. 6 over 2 is 3. Kaya meron tayong plus 3. Minus 9. So, pag ginumbay niya, negative 1 plus negative 9 is negative 10. Plus 6, we have negative 4. So, meron tayong same answer. So, kayo bahala pag product. Ano, pwede nyo apply yung theorem na to. Or pwede kayo mag-multiply muna ng functions. Apply mo yung sa may sum and difference. Saka sa constant. Okay. Question. Sa product. Wala po. Wala pa. Sige. 